guys! I'm Jenna and I'm back for my second update. No, I should have to know experience ko. And I'll discuss for today's video yung mga um, expectations while on your while on your medication. Next is yung uh, what to do during the medication. And I'll discuss about the products that I'm using while on medication. And also, I'll um, update you about the things na sinabi sa akin ng dermatologist ko about my case and uh, for my next uh, consultations. So, first thing na i-discuss ko sa inyo is yung products na ginagamit ko while on medication. So, first product that I'm going to use, I'm going to uh, let you see is this. Yeah, kita ba? Kita ba? Yeah. Um, the first product that I'm showing you is uh, the gel Mousant uh, Sans Savon Soapless Foaming Gel. It's a vein. Uh, this type of gel is very um, clear. Super clear niya lang. Para siyang um, uh, para siyang gel na Yung sa gel ng buhok, pero clear, wala siyang bubbles. Ganun, ganun siya. Ganun, ganun din ka-thick yung consistency niya. So, pag ginamit mo siya, um, twice a day. If you're going to use it, day and night. And yung paghugas sa mukha, hindi siya dapat super harsh na pag ginugasan mo yung mukha mo, yung sobrang kinukuskus mo siya ng ano, ganun. Hindi, super mild lang ng touch. Circular motions while washing your face. Just use... use Use, use um, warm water, I think. Uh, look warm water while using this. Next product is, yun, after washing my face with this, I use this moisturizer. You see? Can 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 um, moisturizer sa face ko at night after washing my face. So, I apply with a generous amount of um, this moisturizer since yung face ko is super dry. So, most of the time, um, nag-flakes talaga siya. Parang yung mga dandruff na maliliit sa buho. So, as a scalp, ganun yung itsura niya. Like this. Uh, ngayon, I'm on um, I'm on this uh, sun, sunscreen or sunblock on my face. Pero para siyang makeup. Pero hindi siya katulad ng makeup na full coverage. Ano lang siya? Um, para siyang tint. Tinted na matte finish na sunblock. It's non-greasy. So, mafe-feel mo pag ginamit mo siya, hindi siya um, hindi siya oily. Hindi ka masyadong oily at the first use. Siguro mga first week makikita mo, medyo nagsasubside na yung oiliness ng face mo. On the second, third, and fourth week, wala na talaga. As in, dry na yung face mo. Including your lips. So, um, this product is called Lab 46. You see, guys? Malino siya. Yan. Lab 46. Uh, you can buy this on your dermatologist if meron. And, um, uh, the product mentioned a while ago is this, yung Avi, na bibili ko rin siya sa dermatologist ko. So, um, she prescribed me to use this since mild lang siya and it's hypoallergenic and non-carbonogenic. So, yun din, yung um, multi-lipid face cream, I also bought this on my, from my dermatologist. And also, oh, nasa na yun? Here. Ito naman, yung next product is yung Sebamed. You can see, guys. Yan. Yung Sebamed Lip Defense. Siya naman yung klase ng lip balm. It's like a lip balm. Um, meron siyang SPF 30. So, most of the time, um, masarap siya sa lips. Kahit na super dry. O, oh, makikita mo parang medyo may flakes, flakes yung lips mo na super chap. So, um, Ayun, uh, sorry guys, kasi ano, naputol. So, I was saying, um, yung Sebamed Lip Defense. Ayan, ginagamit ko siya kada umaga lang. So, ang ginagamit ko sa gabi, ito naman, yung Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean Moisturizing Lip Balm. 
yun. So, ginagamit ko siya sa gabi. Ang pinakaiba lang naman nila is may SPF 30 to. Yung puti. And, ito, um, um, same effect lang. Same lang sila. Yung sebamid pala na meron ako is, eto, clear siya. Yan, clear siya. And, um, yun nga, um, kapag uh, dry na lips mo, maglagay ka lang. Whenever you feel dry. And, um, next is, yung, uh, eto, yung Lab 46 ko, gamit ko siya ngayon. Eto, look at my face. Yan. Yung, um, yung coverage niya, hindi naman siya full coverage. Tinted lang, tin tinted lang talaga siya. Pero matte finish. Yung, um, yung type of, ano niya, consistency. So, um, yung nakuha kong shade is tan. I think it's tan. Ito, ito siya. Yun. Yung type of, um, sunblock na to is very good. Kasi, I don't feel oily. I don't feel, um, I don't feel na hindi siya um, kasing kulay ng leg ko. So, it's nice. Nice yung color niya. And, uh, yun nga lang. Kasi, matte finish siya. Ang nagiging tendency is, nagfi-flakes like this. Um, yun yung face ko. Nagfi-flakes yung, um, yung face ko. Kapag, ano na siya, na-apply na siya sa face. Ayun. Sa so, ngayon, madami yung acne. Kasi, ano na, lampas 30 days na yung, yung, um, experience ko dun sa ISO 39. And, uh, so far, yun nga, um, mahirap kasi, uh, super dami ng pimples ko. Yun nga. Um, next discussion is yung about sa mga what to expect while you're under ISO 39. Yung mga things na may experience mo. So, first thing is dryness. Uh, yung sa dryness, may experience, may experience mo siya on the second week. Yan, dun siya mag-start. The first week, medyo ano lang eh. Um, you might feel masakit yung balakang mo or some things na um, nakasulat dun sa pamphlet na binigay ng dermatologist mo about acne tricks. Yan, Accutane or Isotretinine. Iso so, um, on my first week kasi na-experience ko yung masakit yung katawan ko. And on the next day, yun, hindi na. Next is yung, yung itchiness. Yun nga, yung itchiness may experience mo siya during the third and fourth week kapag uh, uh, nag-breakouts ka na. Yun nga, kasi more breakouts yung tendency niya on the third and fourth week. So, yun nga, after niyang mag-breakout, mag uh, magdadya yung pimples, ayun, dun, siya ma dun mo ma-feel na ang sarap kamuti ng mukha mo, pero bawal, syempre. And, um, ang payo ko dun sa mga nakaka-feel na ng dryness, yun nga, maglagay ka nito sa gabi. Basta kung ano yung pinescribe sa inyo ng dermatologist nyo na, um, face cream or moisturizer for, um, dryness ng face. Next is yung, um, urge to pee due to high water intake. Kasi syempre, dry ka na, you feel thirsty, you tend to drink more water. Next is water retention, yun. Usually, um, feeling mo parang bloated ka, ganun yung itsura niya eh. So, parang bloated ka. Yun nga, um, another thing to expect is, yun nga, kapag bloated ka, um, depende kung binigyan ka rin ng dermatologist mo ng, ano, ng, or con oral contracep contraceptives yung OCs yung binigay kasi sa akin oral contraceptive is uh, yes yun yung um, yun yung another type ng katulad ng dayan mga yasmin yun so um, first thing na experience ko dun sa OC ko is bloating parang medyo nasusuka din ako kasi um, dahil doon. And, yun nga, another thing to expect is flaking. Yun, nagfi-flakes yung face ko right now. Parang madaming balakubak na umabagsak. Lalo na pag naka-jacket ako ng itim, marami siyang, um, nalalaglag sa jacket ko dito. So, yun, yun yung i-expect nyo pagka under ISO 39 ka. So, 
on the first and second day, you will feel different due to the side effect of the tretinoin pills. Isotretinoin pills. Um, kasi on the first and second day, talaga masakit yung balakang ko. I don't know why. Pero nakasulat naman dun sa, um, may binigay naman na pamphlet yung, pamphlet yung dermatologist ko about acne tricks, yung mga side effects. So, if ever yun ay ibigay sa inyo ng type ng um, Accutane, so yun, basahin nyo na lang yung mga side effects and what to expect. And, most important thing is not to get pregnant while on your isotretinoin. Kasi, yun yung pinaka mahirap. Of course, yun nga, pag uh, naging pregnant ka, may possible side effects yun sa magiging anak mo. So, Another um, thing na i-discuss ko is what to do during medication. Of course, itong pinaka-importante sa lahat, drink more water. More water. As in, kung ano yung carry mong inumin, yun. Inom ka lang ng water. And um, another thing is, yun, I'm on OC. So, I'm on oral contraceptives. I usually use flow up. I use Flow app, or you can use any app na magbo-monitor sa mga um, sa mga in intake mo na pills, such as yun nga, uh, Flow app and Period app yun. Ayun. Um, and another thing is, of course, I'm on or oral contraceptives. I took my first or oral contraceptive on my from my first men's yun first men's. So while you're on your while on your OCs, of course, um, you can use Flow app or any other app na may tracker. Kung ano yung mga na tinit intake mo na pills. Kasi usually kapag nakalimut ka talaga, ang hirap eh. Yung parang of course kailangan mo mag intake every day noon para hindi ka maka hindi mo makalikta ang mag intake talaga ng gamot. So you should use one of those apps. Um, another is yun, exercise. Kahit simple walk or jog lang pwede. Para um, syempre magalaw-galaw naman yung kataman, katawan mo while you're under medication. And of course, yung food intake um, I think it's better for me kasi I'm overweight. Um, of course, I should uh, monitor my food intake and uh, kailangan kasi nun, pag may pimples ka, kailangan ano, low, low glycemic diet. Yung mga ini-intake mo lang is um, usually uh, fruits and vegetables and not processed foods. Yun nga, avoid processed foods. And uh, on my diet, yun nga, effective siya para sa akin kasi uh, bumaba na rin yung, um, yung, yung kilograms ko. So, yung weight ko bumaba na. So, Yun, uh, I can see that it's effective yung low, low glycemic diet sa akin. So, eat right. Eat right lang talaga. And eat on moderation. Huwag masyadong iinom ng mga milk tea. Of course, yung may mga milk. Yun, ang dapat iwasan kapag may pimples ka. And do not forget to apply your moisturizer every night. Of course, yun yung pinaka-importante. Kasi, yun nga, ang pangit kasi ng mukha na super flaky. Since, Ako, um, kukwento ko sa inyo guys kung, kung bakit flaky ako ngayon. And, um, do not forget to use your sunscreen guys. Kasi, yun nga. Yun nga. Kung ano man yung sunscreen na binigay sa inyo ng derma nyo, isundin nyo lang. Maglagay kayo lagi ng sunscreen. Kasi, um, yung magiging itsura mo is para kang mamula-mula sa ilalim ng araw. So, ang pangit tignan. Um, hindi siya proportion dun sa kulay talaga ng cheeks mo. Kunyari, uh, marami kang pimples dito. Yung cheeks mo, normal skin. So, ang pangit tignan. Yun. Um, and, yun. Yung advice kasi sa akin, ang binigay sa akin ng nagamot is isotretinoin na 10 mg. So, I drink it once a day. And, um, yun. Yung yes kasi, I, sh I, sh I was supposedly um, I was on OCs and dapat i-intake ko siya continuously. But since, yun nga, nagkaroon ako ng, on my um, third consultation, kasi babalik na ako sa derma ko, kasi tapos ko na yung, uh, tapos ko na yung isotretinoin na isang box. So, 
bumalik ako sa uh, sa derma ko after ko mag mag magpa uh, magpa lab test uli nung AST ALT and lipid profile test ko and the results was yun nga uh, medyo malungkot kasi tumaas yung ALT and AST ko which is very rare for from her patients kasi yung mga ibang patients niya ang problema is cholesterol chor eh, cholesterol level so, yung sa akin naman, yung ASTALT, normally dapat 10 to 35 lang yung value. So, yung sa akin, nag times 5, naging 198. So, medyo, medyo um, in-advise sa akin ng derma ko na i-stop ko muna yung ASU 39, which is sad for me. Kasi, yun nga, um, kailangan ko siya i-stop. For the meantime, she told me to stop it for 2 weeks. And, yun, binigyan niya ako ng topical, topical solution for me to apply on my face during the day. And on weekends, yun pa rin, iintake ko pa rin tong um, moisturizer, ay, iintake. Um, ilalagay ko pa rin sa face ko tong um, moisturizer na to. And, um, yung, yung binigyan niya sa akin or, um, topical solution is eto. Adapalene with benzoyl peroxide. She told me to um, put this on my face every night. And um, its effect, it's good. Para siyang equivalent dun sa nag-iintay ka ng acetret, nagda-dry siya. So, ito din, nagda-dry talaga. Super dry talaga ng face mo. Pang maging effect niya is ganito. Yun nga, pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. Super flaky. And, um... Yun, pag nagugas ka ng mukha, minsan mapapansin mo, pumutok na pala yung pimples mo na mga dry, yung mga supposedly na may mga pus, yun, maglalabasan siya. So, um, ayun, inaantay ko lang talaga yung results. I, I'm still waiting for the results kung sana, uh, na sana, tumaa, ay bumaba yung AST and ALT ko para makapag-intake ulit ako ng ISO 39. And, um, hopefully, um, on my acne journey, um, talagang mawala na yung pimples ko. Talagang nakakawala kasi ng confidence yung pagkakaroon ng pimples. And, um, the, the last thing I remembered is parang nakaka, yun, nakaka-depress talaga. And, yun nga, ang problema ko is yung mga hyperpigmentations. Right after, right after having this mga this pimples, yun nga, yung mga marks, yung pinaka concern ko after this. So, if ever na may update, guys, ayan, after two weeks, um, i-update ko rin kayo about my situation, ko ano yung mga, um, lab test results ko, and hopefully, yun. Uh, saka nga pala, guys, kapag nagtitika ka ng ESO39, yung dermatologist nyo, they will usually um, give you a request, lab request, for you to uh, check the, na din, and she will also check, or your dermatologist will also check kung ano yung lab results mo before uh, prescribing you to intake isotretinoin. Kasi, um, this is very sensitive kasi nga, it, it will um, affect, effect, have an effect on your uh, liver. So, importante talaga na uh, tama lang yung cholesterol level mo and yung ASTALT mo. And, um, I'll update you for, uh, I'll update you after my, um, diagnostics and my checkup. And also, um, uh, guys, uh, patience lang talaga, of course. Kailangan mo maging patient while your under medication or anything and of course um kahit na nakakawala ng confidence um isipin mo pa rin na kaya mo yan kaya natin tong may mga pimples so um i'll update you guys for the next uh things that will happen on my face ko ano yung mga lab results ko so for more updates subscribe to my channel and i'll just update you guys bye